Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to do, uh, use your overlocker today to do a fancy thing called a lettuce hem. It's a basic, it, it involves setting your overlocker up to do a rolled hem. Uh, so you'll have to look in your manual how to do that. It usually involves taking the needle out. So don't lose the needle and screw the screw back in so it doesn't bounce into the inner workings of your machine. Uh, but once you're set up to do a rolled hem, this is basically how you extend that to do a lettuce hem. Okay, now hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing as I do it there. Um, so this is what you do this on jersey fabric. Uh, it will work on some very fine uh, organzas and stuff will give you a lettuce as well. Uh, but nothing really like it won't do it on cotton. It's too thick. OK, so I'm going to get hold of the tail. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to set your differential feed to the lowest number. So it's usually 0 0.5 or 0 0.7. Uh, and once you've done that, then the rest of it involves a technique of you holding the fabric. So I'm going to pull the tail as I do it, and I'm going to pull the front of the jersey as well. Normally, you know, you never want to be pulling jersey, do you, when you're sewing it? But for this one, you do. So you want to be pulling it as much as you can. So once it gets going, so I'm pulling the tail to start with. And then once I can get hold of the fabric, life gets slightly easier. And I'm going to pull it really hard at the front and pull it at the back as well. So it's just going to sew a little rolled hem. As it goes, I'm stretching it every so often. You can let go and get hold of it a bit nearer the foot. Don't your arms won't be long enough to go all the way to the other end. Stretch the fabric as much as you can. Okay. And then you've got to the end, snap it off. Uh, but what you'll end up with is this little wavy edge. Uh, which is called a lettuce hem. So I've, today I've used it on a, um, I've made a Tilly and the Buttons indigo uh, smock today. So I've managed to use the lettuce hem on the edge of the sleeve. So let me see if I can turn that so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so this is the sleeve edge. It's got like a, a ruffle on the bottom of the sleeve. So I've lettuce hemmed all the edge and I'm going to do it on the bottom of the uh, dress edge as well really nice way to finish off things like um, pajama bottoms where well, you don't want a bulky hem uh, or if any of you make the lunar lapping rabbits and you want to finish off dresses for them again because it's a, a toy you don't want a bulky hem so this is a really nice very fine hem um, and looks great on the little uh, dresses for the rabbits and things Nice on the edges of kids' sleeves or kids' tops as well. But it's a nice way to finish off something quite lightweight. Uh, so that's what I've done today. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.